Hello and welcome to what I believe might be the sixth video, maybe the seventh. I just thought I'd start this with an off-cut review of the film Zombieland that was on before. I, I, I don't get why people rave over that film. Jesse Eisenberg is an awful actor, looks like an absolute dickhead and how he gets any part in Hollywood, I have no idea. And why the fuck do zombies seem to have super speed, regardless of the fact, you know, they're dead. They shouldn't have super speed. Why do they, does it, whatever infection they get, grant them some fucking super speed? I can't wrap my head around it. And yet, they can die. I just don't get the whole die twice. We're already dead. You can't, you should be able to kill something that's dead. It, it, it's like multiple chances. Anyway, on to the reviews. I have been down the world food aisle at Tesco and got an array of products which I've actually left on the floor. I'll probably go through them one on one. I also have with me the kitchen sink bowl in case any of the crap I've got is going to make me spit or be sick. Better to get it into something than on the living room floor. Regardless, we are moving this house soon anyway, so... Ah, uh, you know, you get fined if you leave shit on the... I don't know, if you've left some throw-up. Who knows? I will start with the bad things. What I believe are going to be the bad things. So right here, we have a Surge Peanut Punch. It has 8 grams of protein and 25% calcium. It's homogenized and UHT processed things that I have no idea it apparently comes from Jamaica it's inspired by goodness and created by nature I do not like nuts I'm not overly keen on milk I like the retro carton design you don't get cartons like this anymore reminds me of Umbongo but Umbongo is nice, so I shall follow the instructions. Insert the straw. It's in. We're in. I'm going to try. Oh, 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 fuck it out. It's, it's, I don't know if it's more chocolatey than it is nutty. But I do not like it. It's overwhelmingly strong. It's an intense flavour. It hits the palate straight away. I mean, I, I, I'd rather have some Jamaican weed than I would any of their beverages. Unless there is an uber cool Jamaican beverage. I can't believe I've used the term uber cool. Uh, I have left some polos on the side for... These things that will have an overwhelming taste. I don't think anything will be as bad as that. But we move on to the other beverages of the journey. From the brand Rubicon. We have some street drinks. This is Bisap. Which is African inspired. More specifically Senegal. Which is the home of the footballer Sadio Mane. So he's probably a fan of this drink. Uh, in case anyone in the family wants to actually have a try of this and not go into drink out of the carton, that would be rude. I will put it into this glass that I stole from the sea view that looks like a vase. Oh, oh fucking hell. Um, it's uh, whatever colour you want to call that. I say that uh, doesn't smell too bad. Not too bad at all, that smell. Um, this says that it is hibiscus and ginger. I don't really like ginger. I don't really know what hibiscus is. I've seen it paired with peach before, but, I, you know, is it a similar kind of thing to a peach? But... Well, if the Africans like it, who knows? Cheers. I 
I'm just thoroughly disappointed with that. It's just a bit. It's not a taste at all. It's rather depressing. It tastes like that shit the dentist give you when you're rinsing out your mouth after you've been. Maybe it is. They don't tell you what that is, for all we know. That shit could be bissum. Um. Oh, moving on. I've got Bex glass here. We have a another street drink. This one is uh, Nimbu Panai. Ignore the racist Indian accent. Nimbu Panai. That was more African. I should have done that one before. But we don't want to cause offence to many of our Indian or African viewers if I ever get any of them. Uh, this has lemon, cumin and mint. Lemon and mint I can see as perfectly normal drink suggestions. But cumin I've always led to believe is a, you know, it's a spice. You don't put spices in fucking drinks. Why do people on these other fucking continents do weird shit? Stick to the European ways. Fucking hell, and the lid's a fucking cunt as well. But we're in. I'm scared for what colour this is going to come out. I would assume green. Oh. Clear as water. <sighs> With a weird smell. But it looks like water. Well, it's cloudy water. It's probably the shit they're getting in Flint, Michigan. Um, let's just go straight in with this. Oh! oh. There's no lemon hint at all. Oh. It tastes what I imagine India tastes like. Which without sounding offensive it's not good Ugh. um this is one that joe balcom gave me a while ago i was i'm gonna do in my last video it's some kind of milkshake ipa it's off tempo i don't know if ipas can be on tempo but i have no idea it's got a weird ring pull design, like you're opening a tin of beans or a... Oh, fuck me! Shit! Oh, I'm going to be fucking eye. Jesus Christ, where's the fucking hole? What the fuck? Oh, oh it is like a tin of beans. Oh. Oh, it doesn't smell good. Christ almighty. It doesn't taste a milkshake, it's just fizzy, it just tastes like fucking shit beer. Why the fuck are people hyped over this kind of shit? I don't know. You you enjoy paying fucking four pound a can for fucking crap like that in your stupid fucking crap beer boxes that come. Cause I will not join that trend. That shit was grim. Um Another thing that I'm fairly certain is going to be crap. We have a, aha, you know, take on me, the Norwegian band, now in snack form. Apparently that is a Sazanki, sesame snacks, a sesame seed snack. Oh my God, it's in like three bits. Oh, it's crumbly. So apparently it's like brittle. You get three of these. I'll just. I'm going to put it all in my mouth. That's suicidal. I'll just take a bite and nibble. Oh, it's fucking hard. I don't have the teeth for this. Oh, I don't like it already. Oh. One minute, one minute. Oh. No, 
Sesame C should remain on burgers and not in snack form. No, you Polish people again. Why Why are you doing these things? I was just praising Europe and you're letting the side down. <sighs> Fucking hell. That's not nice. That is not nice. Um, the next thing. Ardvacat which I was, it was an aged verification thing at the till at Tesco. So it has alcohol in. On further discovery, the woman told me that it's a winter-based drink, that you're having a snowball. Then on further inspect, oh, pardon me, further inspection, it's eggnog, basically. It's some kind of egg-based thing. Once again, I do not like eggs. Nor do I like egg-based products, except mayonnaise. So this is a chocolate bar, that tastes of mayonnaise. We're laughing. And I can't fucking wrap the fucker. It smells like chocolate, it doesn't smell of eggs. It has some kind of center. Um, here we go. That's not too bad. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. It just tastes like any liqueur based chocolate. Um, it's not great. I'd probably say it's like the shittest quality street you can get, but everyone's opinion's different on a subject like that. Um, I have a fair few things, but I don't think they'll warrant a video. We have this. Another. Polish thing, a eh? Milkiz, hashtag Milkiz, has, Milkiz time, Dobre Skradzi.pl, Czechorada on Zanzim Milsigin, 30 grams. I'm hoping this is like a Kinder Maxi, you know, um, it smells like it could be. I'll just go fuck it. No, no, it's coconut. We've had enough of coconuts. It seems coconutty. Oh, it's like a shit bounty. Once again, coconut is our downfall. Why fucking call it milk is time? Unless it's fucking coconut milk. Um, Prince Polo XXL If there is a Prince Polo That could be an advertisement for something else but, You know Extra extra large A classic I wonder if there's just an XL or an L uh, Odd 1955 Roku I'm establishing That's when it's established Not when it was produced it's quite darker than I imagined. I thought it was going to be like a twit. Seems to have a wafer base. Mm hmm. It's a crappy wafer fucking chocolate bar. More wafer than chocolate. It stands nowhere near a fucking Kit Kat. It's crap. There's nowhere really good in Europe that does good chocolate, is there? Except ourselves. Um, I have something that's like a an Albi Max crispy bar with rice crisps and caramel in milk chocolate. So this is the Polish toffee crisp. Already, as you can tell, it's got more fucking bits than our English ones do. It's be quite pleasant make a change and fucking the rest of the crap I do crap 
รุ่นเทียสอุ้งเซสุสนายสุสท็อปปี้คริสจุสต์เวฟเฟอร์สคราบเฮ้ยตัวเวฟเฟอร์สเลยในทุกทุกสายเวฟเฟอร์เบสนั้นดาวเสียใจเลยเอ้ยฉันมี14สมาชิก13สมาชิก50ถ้าคุณสามารถแชร์นี้สมัครนี้สมาชิกให้คนสมัครเราได้50สมาชิกนั้นฉันจะทำอีกวิดีโอหนึ่งที่ฉันจะให้ทุกคนทั่วโลกใครที่อยู่ในเฟซบุ๊กหรือทวิตเตอร์หรือในยูทูบที่ทำได้สมัครว่าจะรับชมไม่จำเป็นต้องเป็นอาหารฉันสามารถรับชมรีวิวหลายเรื่องฟิล์มเมืองเกมเกมใครรู้แต่ใช่ครับแชร์ที่วิดีโอแล้วไม่ได้รับชมจากสตาร์ที่ผมนอร์มัลที่สุดถ้าเป็นความจริงกับคุณพวกเขาทั้งหมดเขาทั้งหมดได้รับการเลือกแค่หนึ่งสตาร์หรือสองสตาร์ไม่มีอะไรที่สุดที่ดีเลยเชียร์ฟอร์ดีเดอะมิลค์เชคไอพีเอจูแต่ฉันไม่คาดว่ามันจะเกิดขึ้นในฉันขอบคุณที่เมล์เชคไอพีเอจูไม่ได้รับการเลือกตั้งแต่ฉันไม่คาดว่ามันจะเกิดขึ้นในฉันขอบคุณที่เมล์เชคไอพีเอจูไม่ได้รับการเลือกตั้งแต่ฉันไม่คาดว่ามันจะเกิดขึ้นในฉัน